Pumpkin Lambs. Can we talk about the Broadway musical MJ? We went this weekend. Now, this we have got to talk about. I don't mean any harm, but it has to be the best play on Broadway. It has to be. This is the program, and you have to see the cast with Miles Frost. He's leaving April 2nd. For some reason, like, I, we were about to go see this play again and again. Like, O-M-O-O-M-G. I am so about to be Michael Jackson all week long. And there's not going to be anything anybody can say about it. <laughs> Baby's going to be talking to me and I'm just going to bust out into Liberian girl. You came and you changed my world. Baby, what do you want to have for dinner tonight? I was thinking maybe Nancy's pizza. It makes me say, Jermon, you know it. When I was a child, I was like, as soon as I make enough money to get one of these, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be at the store so freaking fast. I never had a reason to wear my shirt into this play. And I pulled that shirt out so damn fast, baby head was spinning. He was like, what do you have on? First of all, it's still St. Patrick's Day, so we had to wear a green jacket, but I did wear my Michael Jackson shirt. Like I said, never knew what I was going to wear. Let's get to business. And I am so glad I served Michael right, because look at everybody with the beaded and thriller jackets on. Everybody was dressed like Michael Jackson in Broadway theater. It was magnificent. It, we were one as a unit. The whole audience, when they start singing Heal the World, we start singing Heal the World. The play started out with an empty stage. And mind you, this is like 7.50, so no one's on the stage. But as it got closer to 8 o'clock, the stage started filling up with dancers and musicians. There was Michael's manager, and then that's an MTV crew front right. And that was the play. And they gave us the smoothest transitions. Like... It, it wasn't even just about the dancing and singing. It was like the storyline of it and how they told it and how the manager, he transferred from the manager to Joe and how the backup, like, it was just really good. I can't tell everything. I can't tell everything. But the transitions were phenomenal. And then when they got to dancing, baby, they got to dancing. They got to dancing. Do you hear me? Oh my God, the lead, Miles Frost, he had totally morphed into Michael Jackson. Like, Michael Jackson would even want to come back to life to see this. I'm not even playing with y'all. Like, I'm very serious right now. Like, Michael would want to see this. Like, this, this play would inspire Michael Jackson because he'll be like, damn, I did. I used to dance my ass off. Shh, what? Then they had the different phases of Michael. Michael always had the knees. You know how they call it Megan the Stallion knees? No, y'all need y'all some of them Jackson 5 knees because Joe was right on the side of money with another bass guitar. He was like, this is not for me to play. Figure it out. Figure these dance steps out and don't be slow because you're going to do it again and again. I don't care nothing about 3 a.m. I never told you. I did have I, Latoya, did I ask anybody what time it was? No. Okay. So I didn't ask, like, why are we say, oh, it's 3 a.m., Joseph? I don't care. I don't care. Again. He started talking like when he was one of them ballet teachers. Again. When, you, when them teachers say, again, bitches for your scholarship. Again. It showed the generations of Michael Jackson dancing his booty off. And it was magnificent. It showed his relationship on how he, he and Quincy Jones put together music. And then they transitioned into Thriller on Our Ass. When I tell you, those kids came out from the sky like ninjas, baby. And they attacked us. They they hit us with ninja stars. You know the metal stars they throw at you. And they, they had nunchucks and ninja mace and shit. Honey, they attacked us in the audience. They attacked us. We paid to get attacked. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. 
The tickets are like $220 with tax. So we sat on the fourth row in the balcony. So, um, and I know there probably were tickets that cost way more than that. But I must say, I love sitting in the balcony because it was a play of, you know, the choreography. And we we got to see the Jackson 5 jam and they danced their asses off. And uh, we got to see, you know, Thriller Michael versus Dangerous Michael. There's two different Michaels, honey. That's like uh, Beyonce and Solange. There's two different things. And, but, but both Michaels jammed their butts off, okay? And yes, they had it all. They showed how he got up. You know, allegedly addicted to his pills, and they talked about that. Oh, you got to see the play. Now you got to. Now, I know you think I'm telling you about the play, but it's kind of like me telling you about a Patti LaBelle CD. It's like, oh yeah, she has really good harmonies, and then there's this one part where she talks about flowers, and then she raises her voice. That don't mean nothing, honey. You have to hear the song. So, like I said, y'all know y'all. Like, oh, he's telling everybody. To play. No, he's not. All I'm telling you is you have to see it. Now, this new guy, you got big shoes to fill. I don't even know who he is, honey. I'll be coming in there with a Michelle Obama eyebrow next time I go see the play. Like, you better do as good as the other one. Baby, I'm coming up in there with my nunchucks and my ninja star and my ninja mace, okay? The next time I come, baby, because I want to see the play again. There's some shit where you know you got to see it again. You know you got to see it again. Like, if Beyonce came to your time multiple times, wouldn't you want to see it again? Okay! Okay, so listen, the thing about this is Miles Frost, um, he had his nuances, like his own personal nuances. Um, he 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 was like on, on the ground like Prince, and you know how Prince can just lift himself up with his feet. Miles has he has his own Miles nuances. And it's just phenomenal. Listen, when I tell you it is Michael Jackson country in New York. Let's give a round of applause for Miles Frost because he won the Tony Award for playing Michael Jackson in this Broadway musical. Kudos and well-deserved. Well-deserved. You know you hot once Madonna's trying to hug up on you, baby. He's so good, even Michael Jackson's children are like, can we get a selfie with you? I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. Baby, they got even Miss Ola Ray, honey. You know she sleeps in a in a... Underground bunk next to Sade, honey. They only come out every 13,000 years. But even Ola Ray had to. She was like, I've heard about this musical. Let me get my ass up out of this bunker, honey. And we ain't seen Ola Ray since the Thriller video. Hey, Ola. In my mind, Stephanie Mills ran Ola Ray off. In my mind. Look at Stephanie's face. She's like, Ola, we, we no longer need you. You've done Thriller. Now scat. He's been mine. The girl is mine. And I guarantee you, me, baby, and allegedly, this is in my mind, I guarantee you, Stephanie Mills does not put Brooke Shields in her coffee. And if she did, she wouldn't stir it. <laughs> if you can catch the play, catch the play. The line is wrapped literally around the building. And um, a lot, when, once people take off their clothes, they're going to have their Michael Jackson outfits on.